week's Parsha, we learn about many, many different mitzvahs, commandments in the Torah. There's also a very interesting section of this week's Parsha, talking about different converts. And the Torah specifically states about the ancient tribe or nation of Ammon and Moab, the Loyavo Ammoni and Moavi B'Kal Hashem, that someone from the nation of Moab or Ammon cannot enter the community of God and not convert. And the Torah gives a specific reason for that. And that is because when the Jews left Egypt and they were wandering through the desert, and the Jews at that time were hungry and thirsty, and they passed by Ammon and Moab, and they were not greeted with bread and water by the people from Moab. And for that reason, the Torah says, they should not enter the Kahal Hashem, the community of Hashem and Judaism. It would seem that the punishment does not fit the crime. Maybe the people from Moab and Ammon were not the most outgoing and friendly people out there. But why should this specific incident ban them from all time from converting to Judaism? Ramban Nachmanis offers a profound insight and lesson to us in general. And he says, if you look towards the origins of Ammon and Moab, you have to look back all the way to the times of Avraham of Abraham, where he interceded not once but twice on behalf of his nephew Lot. And he once rescued him from the, the, the kings that imprisoned and incarcerated Lot after the war. Avraham came to his rescue, and the second time was when Saddam was going to be destroyed and Lot was going to be a resident of Saddam that was going to be destroyed. Avraham, in his merit, Lot was saved. And Lot runs away to a cave with his two daughters. And as far as they are concerned, they are the only three survivors in the world because they were not aware that the entire world was still standing and just Saddam was destroyed. They thought the entire civilization was destroyed. So Lot's two daughters, in order to preserve the human race, got their father drunk on two consecutive nights and had him father two children with them on two consecutive nights. And they became pregnant with Ammon and Moab. And that was the origins of Ammon and Moab. So Nachmanides points out it was exclusively because of the merit of Abraham that Ammon and Moab came into existence. Now fast forward many years later, and now it's the children of Abraham, of Avraham, that need assistance from Moab and Ammon. And what's their response? Nothing. No gratitude, no gratefulness towards Avraham's descendants. Nachmanis points out, Someone that lacks the basic elements of being a grateful person doesn't even have the, the core characteristics of having gratitude. Lo yavo b'kal Hashem, should not enter k'hal Hashem and convert because being a grateful person is a fundamental of Judaism. Being grateful to God, being grateful to our family, to our friends and so a tribe or a nation that does not have the basic element of this, will yell, will call Hashem, should not enter the call Hashem. Folks, I think this tells us a great lesson about the importance of being grateful. Because throughout our lives and our days, we are the recipients of much kindness. Kindness from God, kindness from our friends and our families. And it is up to us to choose what our reaction shall be. Let us remember the lesson from this week's parasha, and let us remember how important it is to have the mida, the characteristic of being grateful. Have a wonderful show.